I don't know what she wants to know, but I would tell her if I knew. That was harder than any at workout we've done, Jay. And I've done one rep. So now, it's a think about. Stay clear of the rectal area <laughs> during this position. I'll stay up top. <laughs> <laughs> yes, stay up there, Jay. Tranquil is this? So we're here, something a little bit different today. Something a little bit different, but something we should all have been doing a damn long time ago. But because we're men, most of us who are watching this, some of you ladies might already be doing this, we don't think of things like yoga and Pilates, but we should be, because these are the things that are gonna help us really connect our mind to our muscle. So today, that's what we're gonna be doing, and I do not do this. And I am one of you. I am one of these people who has not tried this because I thought, yeah, that's for like ladies and older people and they've retired and done things. No, I had a go at yoga the other day and it is hard as hell and it's becoming way more mainstream now. And so guys, go with your girls to one of these classes because today that's exactly what I am doing. So I'm here at the Pilates studio, which you can search online. It's at the rural space. She's been doing this for over 10 years and she's gonna take us through a good basic program that you guys can start at home and then we're going to do a couple of things that you would then be able to progress through if you go and join like a studio or go to some classes so we're going to be focusing today on balance creating a better core that means better abs that means a better midsection that means a tighter waist and we're going to be concentrating on mobility so what we're going to hopefully improve here is impingements we're going to help release those we're going to help fix imbalances and all those areas that you find tight on the body like the hips the hamstrings the quads the shoulders this is something you can start doing you can start doing it at home and it's going to help them all so let's go meet the owner and let's get started with what's probably going to be one of the most painful sessions of 2019. <laughs> <laughs> a big hello to vicky thank you very much for having us here and today you're going to be taking us through a routine we can start at home that guys girls kids Grandparents, yeah. everyone can be doing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we're going to be starting with balance through to core, then just general kind of opening up of the body. Yes. And what are the overall benefits of doing this on a, on a regular basis? Well, it helps you to carry on doing the things you enjoy. So lots of people that are sports people that have got injuries and then can't do them, come to Pilates because then it helps to get them rehabilitated back to them what they want to do. But it also keeps your posture good, it keeps you stable, it's upright. It's a major thing, isn't it, Because we're all a bit like yeah, for all that, turning into yeah. those little hobgoblin computer nerds, yeah. aren't we? We're turning into the trolls that we hate. Angry little keyboard. And you feel that you've got more control of your movement. So basically, you're, you can move your arms and legs without the whole body collapsing. So yeah. we're going to go and start with right. what? Balance. Balance is first, but yeah. we can't be dressed like this, can we? So, obviously we're going to have to get some appropriate attire. Three, two, one. Ta! Salty? Let's get with the glass! So, balance. And we're going to be starting balance work by playing with our balls. So let's start off then standing. I want you to just get a little bit of a posture check first. So think of the arch of your foot lifted. That's your first diaphragm. So don't flatten it. Try to lift the arch, that the pelvis is nice and flat. Right foot on top of the left. Hold it there. Engage it. Oh God. Here. <laughs> Throw me off. <laughs> That's so hard. Oh my God. And so those oh muscles God, that you can feel that are wobbling, they're the muscles that you're working in Pilates. They're the stabilizing muscles, okay? So, arch of the foot, hips through, rib cage down. Shoulders back, cheekbone in line with collarbone, left foot on top of the right foot. And already I'm wobbling now, already I'm, I'm look at that. Where are you feeling that? And so this burns all the way up the back of my calf, into my hip flexors. Lift your arms up, keep your ribs down. Inhale and your exhale, circle around. And then rotate. Oh, damn it! 
But what happens is, if, is if you're tight there, that's your fascia that's tight along your calves and shins. Yes. But that's just your body. Just me. Yeah. Broken. So, like so I, I suck at this. I suck at this. So what we do? I, I'm gonna well, do. Well, your pelvic floor to really stabilise. So imagine pulling your testicles up to spectacles. So imagine you had spectacles on. You'd be pulling them up. <coughs> Engage. Engage okay, that right. pelvic floor. Rib cage flat. Testicles <laughs> to spectacles. Yes. You can't forget that in a hurry, can you? Imagine that is like smiling at you. So this muscle here is like doing that smile. Smile here. Yeah. So pull it up at the ribs. I can feel that actually. It's a yeah. good analogy. Right. Now let's see if this makes a difference. Okay. Yeah. Cheekbones and our collarbones. Yeah. Put, on, put your foot. Yeah. And then just close the eyes. So you see much better. Oh, six seconds. See, there's improvement though. Yeah. So that obviously I was loose at the core before. Yeah. Big problem. Yeah. So this is it. This is exactly what we're focused on here. These, the, find those things where you're, you think you're tight, but you're actually focusing on the wrong areas to achieve what you want to achieve. This is all about keeping that ribcage down and core controlled. Okay. Yeah. okay. So come up onto your tiptoes and push your heels together. Do I keep them together before I shut up there? Yeah, if you did ballet, position. Oh my God. Rolling down slowly. Feet slightly apart, and now we're going to just roll over to the right as far as you can go, and then you're going to. I'm going to just help you to rotate, rotate a bit more, and then come back up, and then back up to the centre, and then, and then come back, and that hurts everything. I'm not gonna lie. But you can see the thing, hips kicking back, rib cage lifting and crunching rather than lifting over. There are your points for that one. Yeah. And one thing you might not know about balance work is feet. If you've got problems with your feet, then you're quite likely to get knee and hip problems if you don't resolve it. So most people think I've got a knee problem, my knee's in an issue, but it can actually be the feet. Yeah. And you were saying the feet, the arch of the feet are connected to the diaphragm. Yeah. So if you have arches of your feet fall... Well, the fascia is. The fascia, fascia of okay. the arch of the foot is, is connected to your diaphragm. Without moving too much of the hips and the knees, it will move a little bit, but just take them onto the outside of the foot. We're not gripping the toes, I'm rolling the feet to See the outside. Roll a bit more onto the outside, that's oh, it. And keeping my knees facing forward. Roll and in. I turn the feet inwards without letting the knees come into Without inwards. letting the knees roll. Yeah. If you find you've got hip problems, knee problems, even lower back, glute issues, things like that, duck butt walking. Look at your feet. When you look at your shoes, do your shoes wear in a funny, weird way? If they do, you've got a problem with collapsing feet and that can affect your squat, it can affect um, your explosiveness in fighting, it can affect so many things. So look at the feet and start with this little roll out. The idea is to not grip the toes though. Try and keep the toes relaxed. You're gonna try and just lift your arches. Just think about doing it. It's weird. You're not gonna be able to connect with it straight off the bat. But from there, just roll out, keeping the toes relaxed, but keep your knees as facing as forward as much as possible. Then roll in, keeping the knees forward. And just gonna keep doing that. And then that heel walk. As silly as it looks. Keeping your ribcage down, hips forward, glutes engaged, and stay nice and tall, just walk on those heels. Once you've done that, we move on to... Stop putting your balls, mate. Put your balls, balls away. Okay. Big balls. If you don't have these at home, what could you use? Um, you could just use a cushion. A cushion? Right. So you're trying to keep the hips stable. So, so feet like flat, that, and yeah. easy in line with the hips. Hold on to the three balls now. You don't need to, you're just slightly weighted. Bean cans, or... Yeah, yeah, now sit up tall, so you lengthen through the sternum, through the chest. Sit up tall, arms in front. Relax the shoulders. So squeeze, kind of squeeze back. Now you're going to lean the lower back and you're going to slowly tilt the pelvis. You're going to try and get the waistband of your shorts or trousers onto the floor. Still keep that cheekbone, keep it right up, the right arm in the air by your ear. Hold it there and then slowly come back down. Inhale to prepare, left hand, lift it up by your ear, hold it up, keep breathing, keep breathing, slowly come down, now both arms up, then this is a bit more advanced, you don't have to do this if you're at home, you can just do the rolling down, try and keep the arms by your ears if you can, hold it there, now just roll down another inch, hold it, hold it, hold it, 
and then slowly stack the spine and sit up. That was harder than any ab workout we've done, Jay. And I've done one rep. Hold it. See if you can hover the feet off the floor. Hold it. See if you can straighten the legs. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it there. And out to the side. I win. I win. So hard, but so easy to do wherever you are anyway gym or home big one on that is i was lowering with my upper back yes. and what i should be doing is thinking of rolling the pelvis this way you can feel it immediately just bring the arms here you try and have your feet flat on the floor so roll off the sit bones and roll so on we're them. staying tall yeah, here. Tall here testicles to spectacles yes and roll off the sit and bones here roll that pelvis but don't, don't let the chest come okay in. don't let the chest just sink tilting the pelvis You're still keeping the chest wide oh god yeah there you go breathing out <laughs> breathing out three <laughs> two so when you move the so it just shows when you move your oh, arm don't activation you get the core then doesn't it for all you people that think you can do planks for three minutes at a time Bullshit. What I'm looking for now is I want your head to come a bit, I want you to push your chest forwards, but don't drop your back, so lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up, so I want you to pull the stomach in, but not the back. You need to go into your tilt your pelvis, you have pelvic tilt, man. that's why. Oh, see, now that, do you see that, that lower back arch there, a a anterior pelvic tilt, yeah. or torso extension problem, and this is the one we all have, I definitely have it, Lainey has it, and it's where your pelvis is rolled this way all the time, so we end up with that duck butt. Think about rolling the pelvis back this way as well as drawing your stomach in because sometimes when your stomach's drawing in there you can see how flat it is but it's yeah. here that the tilt is causing the arch here yeah. and that causes weak glutes and a weak lower back this is exactly what all this is going to help fix this okay. is me thinking i'm doing a good plank have your hands a little bit further underneath your shoulders that's it and then widen through your chest what that's it that's it so you've got a little gap here that's good now just a little bit Look, that's it, yeah. hold it there, and push the chest forward, so that's really good actually, can you see how, now you're dropping yeah, again, you're dropping again, <sighs> push the heels away, Okay. push the chest forwards, without dropping, <laughs> I can't do that, keep the cheek bit, that's it, that's it, head down, that's it, that's it, hold it, keep <sighs> the arms straight, oh my god, let's see literally how long I can hold this, and that just, <sighs> little couple of adjustments make, a big difference, yeah. That's three seconds, right? Look at yeah. my whole body shaking. So where you're a little bit tight here is here. You upper back. Here. Yeah, we're dealing you with upper back tightness. Oh, I'm done. Oh. Do you go into child Let's have a 10 minute, Let's have a 10 minute nap. The big difference maker on that was that pushing your chest forward without dipping here. That, don't do this. You're trying to, this, like a ballet, people do this don't they that without the dip oh my god do that then come back and tell me you're doing three minute planks <laughs> next up shoulder mobility <laughs> lift the arms up but drop the shoulders down above the head so lift it up keep the head back draw it down to the nose and lift it up and then come back down. Just carry on just doing that. Oh, I can feel that burn the front delve straight away. Going down to the hips. And again, the back. Oh my God. So, what you're feeling is tightness here, here, here. That is crazy. So my problem was I was leaning back. Up, and people do this on shoulder press. We do that lean back. And we've talked about this in previous videos. And it, we're leaning back because the body's compensating. So if you have that front delt tightness, Here's a real simple warm up for all your shoulder movements. Yeah. So we're going to do extension work and this could literally, not joking, make you taller. If you have bad posture, you can literally gain an inch in height I by did. elongating your body. You did. I did, but I started doing Pilates. What were you before? Pilates. Three foot two? No, I was five foot one. I went five foot one. If, you, if you're a dude who's like, maybe like, I wish I was taller, this could literally be a solution to adding inches to you without having to wear Cowboy. So I'm making a capital E with my shoulders, yeah, head and elbows. Head. Yeah. Okay. So now you're going to just draw the shoulders back away from you. And the first thing would be just to lift the chest up, keeping the elbows down. And then lift the chest up. And then lift the chest up as high as you can, bringing it forward. Keep 
head down, keep the head eye level to the floor. Now if you can, lift the arms up the floor. I can't breathe. Hold it there, and if you can, lift the legs up. Hold it. Gently lower the legs, and then bring the arms back down again. Oh. So when I'm lifting my head up though, am I keeping my chin tucked in or am yes. I allowing it to extend no. up? Chin's I'm keeping tucked. Always like no ribs okay. in your neck. So your neck's always feel, like feel like your ribs are coming down. Yeah, ribs yeah. are down. So you just give that a go, you'll feel it immediately. You know, your upper back and everything. Oh my god. And then lift the arms first. Squeeze the glutes. And then lengthen the legs. Hold it. Now bring the arms forwards towards me. Keep the chest lifted. Straighten the arms, straighten the arms. Now we're going to do doggy paddle. Doggy paddle, one, two. Do my legs as well? Yeah. Keep the arm up to the floor, look down, keep breathing. Eight, lovely, seven, and then rest. And then slowly down. Put the fitness on there, man. Now try to come forward a bit. How does that feel? Well, you've got a little bit of a time. She looks so innocent when you meet her at first. <laughs> Don't move your hands, don't move your hands. I don't know what she wants to know, but I would tell her now if I knew. Your... Lift the tailbone up a bit higher, that's it. Move a bit higher. There you go, now keep it there, but turn the inner elbow, not the hand, the inner yeah. elbow. So you're just rotating the shoulder. Left button a little bit higher, because this is a bit lower. Okay, so that's my impingement on that left side. So there you go, if you have like a glute, oh. Jesus, if one of your glutes is. Press your heels down. Slay, I was just crying, woman. I was at the Pilates place. That's not her real appearance, right? Jay. <laughs> I think she's a demon. <laughs> it hurts to hold them for more than like two or three seconds at a time. But already when I stand up, I feel like my whole chain's engaged more. Yeah, like I'm, I feel taller yeah. already. This would flow one into the other as you're doing it at home. And you would hold and stay. And how many, how many times would you do each of these movements? Build up gradually. So do it until you feel like it's like a, a good pain. So I held it really gently as long as I could and that was enough. Yeah. And we just try and build on that. Go yeah. back into the position, hold it again. for If you're only doing two or three seconds, hold it for two or three seconds. Rest back yeah. in two or three seconds. Right and down. Yes. Uncomfortably comfortable. <laughs> That's what I said. Definitely more uncomfortability. That's not a word. If you've got tight shoulders and chest, especially front delt on here, this is going to be a good one for that. So you want your head in line with the back of the hip, that's it then. Back yeah. of the hips there. Now hands together, and then you're going to just lift the top arm up. So keep rib cage down. Yeah, inhale, and then as you exhale, so rotate the shoulder here and then come down to the floor with the shoulder. Down to the floor. Not your hand, your shoulder. Oh, okay, get it. That's it. I'll steal it. Is this not just because my back's yeah, massive yes. and it's just in the way? No. Say yes. No. Maybe yeah. if I grab your hand and pull it. Yeah, go on, pull it. See what happens. Yeah, no, yeah keep going. Keep going. Oi. Oh. <laughs> Are you allowed to do that? If someone could push it down, is that a bad idea? Okay, don't do that. Yeah. So that's what we need to be avoiding. If you yeah. are trying to lift one part of your body and other areas are moving, immediately you know there's tightness or something not right. That's a big, big yeah. flashing red light. So there you go, there you've got a good basic routine to be able to do at home or anywhere. If you don't have the little balls and things, you can use cushions. If you don't have the weights, you can use literally bean cans or like I showed, you don't need any weight at all. And you're just gonna be looking to hold them for 10 seconds or so at a time until you feel it fatigue maybe, take a bit of a break, go back into it and just keep working through it until you feel like that position is fatigued. And then if you've got certain points that you wanna go back to, you can rotate through the whole range and then go back to those problematic areas. And what we're looking to do over time is just build those time scales up. Around about 15 minutes in total, if you start out with aiming to fix it in all 15 minutes, that's a good go. Once you've done that, or you feel if you're ready to go and maybe go to a workshop or join something, you're gonna get, then be able to start using some equipment which is specialized for Pilates and things like that, which is gonna look something like this. And if I go to London Dungeons, I feel I've seen something like this before. <laughs> Quads, hamstrings, glutes Is this again. to open them up and loosen them up? Yeah, yeah. Or is this a literally muscular work? Yeah. It's actually working yes. the muscles now. So just keep it like this to start off with. Now straighten this leg, and then as you bend, bring it out. Okay. And then straighten, and then bring it out. And okay. Then back again. Yeah, so you rotate it, and then come back. 
curl the pelvis up, so lift up onto your shoulders. And now I want you to just straighten the legs. Straighten them, keep, the, keep your bottom lifted, okay. all the way straight. Okay. And then bend them again. And straighten, it's everything, isn't it, really? You have to use all the things to keep you up. Two more. When you're ready, let Oh, I've already done it. Perfect, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm oh, teaching her oh. now. <laughs> stay clear of the rectal area <laughs> if you're in this position. I'll stay up top. <laughs> yeah, stay up there, Jay. And then in, bend, and then straight. Keep your hips up. You're trying to keep those hips really Oh, shit. Sure. I'm out. Why not? I don't know what she wants to know. So, we'll just have a little look at this now. This is so definitely London, London Dungeons. So, Again. this is it. <laughs> Lying down there. Right. I keep both legs straight and I keep the so now it's a think about now bring the right leg down towards me left leg up and then change sides it's like his hamstrings are good aren't they yeah he has good flexibility yeah because in the yoga class he's fine yeah so your hamstrings are a lot and a lot of people think, that, they think that their hamstrings are weak smoke very spatchy you know, try and keep your bottom down and then take the legs out wide as wide as you can and then circle out and round, round. And then come up again, slowly come up, legs together, oh, like that. lift them up. Man, money shot legs. There you go, yeah, there's your money shot. Whoa. And then go the other way, so just go round and back. Like, lower your back down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Slowly down to get your bottom down. And before you get down to your bottom, and then push up again, lift. <laughs> And then slowly down. Well done. There you go. Well done. Ele elegant. Made it. Made Survived. It. And uh, I think what you can see is, I'm, I mean, I'm athletically inclined. Like, I, I'm good at sports, yet there was a instant weaknesses, instant yeah. things we can start improving on yeah, yeah. from the moment. Yeah. You can see that Lainey, who's been doing this for a number of years, she was performing the movements like they should have looked and you can see the comparison to how they looked on me. It's focusing on what muscles you're using and so not compensating. Yes, and this is a big bodybuilder yeah. problem, compensation. Mm -hmm. Get weight from A to B and yeah. then everything twists and moves and then yeah. we get in those bad habits. Yeah. This is going to break those bad habits, it's going to show you new weaknesses to get new strengths. Yes. And then those are going to transcend into everything else that you yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. But overall, knee problems, hip problems, tightness, imbalances, yeah. impingements, this is all things that this can help. Yes, definitely. Well, so there we go. I'm giving you a simple routine to get on with. Thank you very much for giving us absolute okay, pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well done. If you've got any questions, like say you've got something that's really been bugging you for a long time, you want to know a movement that might help. Hit us up in the comment section, I'll ask Vicky, relay it to you. We'll come back and try some different things. If you guys have something that you really want to look at, that you want to improve, give us something and we'll come and get it sorted for you. In the meantime though, get your bean cans, get a cushion and get cracking. I've been Lex, this has been another episode of Undisputed. I think I might make this a new thing. Bring it back for the summer, what do you reckon, Jay? I won't be coming back, you know? <laughs> <laughs> We'll see you in the next episode. Boom, baby. Lately I've been doing shit different Cooking like a chef, I've been all up in the kitchen Had to make a move, had to make a little distance A lot of people tripping, they could never see the vision Fuck that, tell them bounce